I think the Guggenheim is the most fascinating. It is certainly. Of course, one of the, the home of the famous what was it, Mr. Popper's Peepers? What was that? Jim Mr. Popper's movie? Penguins. Right. Yes. <laughs> not Peepers. That was All not right, Peepers. Let's, not, not Peepers. <laughs> it's 4:25 right now. Remember, it was a penguin sliding we down do, the ramp. We do, and they were sliding down. It was adorable. I actually saw that movie in the theaters. <laughs> hey, ladies, what's going on? All right, we have some. Maria's weather. like, what do you want me to do with that? <laughs> I love penguins. I love there you go. I love the Guggenheim. It's all. Good, right? Uh, whatever you've got going on this morning, though, grab the umbrella or the rain jacket. We do have some showers. Another view of the Governor Mario M. Cuomo Bridge. For now, what is out there is definitely on the light side, so that's good news. We're not looking at uh, terrible conditions like we had a few uh, mornings ago. Those light showers are out of here by the morning. In fact, at lunchtime, I think a lot of us will be seeing that sun break out. 60 degrees, so certainly cooler than yesterday, and a clear, crisp evening. 63 degrees by 6 p.m. It's going to be a chillier start if you're heading perhaps for a little getaway this weekend to the Hudson Valley. Saturday and Sunday doesn't get much better for October here from Peekskill, Beacon, and Tarrytown. By Monday, though, a few showers, especially early, but we stay in the 60s. All right, that is your Friday forecast. How about that Friday drive or commute? What's going on, Lauren? There's a couple of problems out there already uh, in Connecticut. The Connecticut Turnpike is closed southbound. This is the second time this week. Uh, it's out between exits 18 and 19, so you can see traffic uh, being diverted onto Route 1 here and a little bit of a slow ride getting into it. Heading over to the Holland Tunnel, inbound side is closed for construction until 5 a.m., but you can head into New Jersey via the Holland Tunnel. And then as far as the subways go, of course, no subway service until 5 a.m. They are still being cleaned. Uh, but if you're getting on any of the major commuter rail lines right now, they are operating on our closest schedule. Darlene, back to you. All right, thank you very much. 426 right now in Brooklyn. Two subway stations now bear the name of murdered civil rights leader Medgar Evers. The MTA unveiled the stops at Franklin Avenue and President Street in Crown. Coming up at 430 and still ahead, we're continuing to follow that breaking news this morning that comes from the White House. Lynn Rodriguez. I'm Michael Gorgiulo, the president announcing that shocking news in a tweet. It came just before 1 a.m. this morning. The positive test comes hours after Friday weather, so let's check my swim before Maria LaRosa, who's watching it. Watching what's happened, Maria. Right, we have a little bit of rain coming down right now, but you can see with the lighter shades of green, a few areas of darker green, it's light showers at that. It is pushing to the north right now through uh, parts of Somerset and Morris County, pushing into Bergen County right now, just along 46, I-78 around Newark too, and a few light showers in the city as well. 58 at Central Park currently, 57 in White Plains, 62 in Islip and Hartford. We're down to 52 in Sussex and Monticello, our cool spot at 46. So definitely cooler today. The gray skies, the showers, they will only last through the morning. So I think as early as noontime, some of that sun will start to break out across the region. 60 degrees by then, 64 at 5 p.m. with fair skies and a nice, quiet, but cool, crisp evening. Clear skies and 10 o'clock temperature right about 59. So need the umbrella on your way out the door for the next couple of hours. What can you face and what are you facing on the roads? Here's Lauren. Thank you, Maria. Good morning. Uh, two major road closures at this hour. I'm going to start with the Connecticut Turnpike. We're southbound. You have a tractor trailer accident that shuts down all lanes in Southport at exit 19. So traffic being diverted off at Route 1 there. It's closed between 19 and 18. Then getting over to the Long Island Expressway eastbound, you have an overturned tractor trailer out there. So all lanes closed. Traffic being diverted off at exit 50, which is Bagatelle Road. And if you are headed out to the GW Bridge, construction is starting to cause some delays on the inbound upper level. Stick with that inbound lower level. Level in the meantime, Darlene and Michael back to you. Lauren, thank you. More than a dozen neighborhoods in and around New York City are under close watch as cases of COVID-19 are surging well above the state's infection rate. Mayor de Blasio said the city is